Hey, my sweethearts, it is Mama Rada, and I am uh, getting ready to do a quick trip to the gym, and I'm going to go then take my son. He wasn't ready, so we're going to go take a nice, hot, steamy, long walk, because <laughs> it is hot down here. Oh, my goodness. Um, you know, and get those good, important things in. Um, your fitness and your health is so important. And, you know, if I could tell young women anything, I would say, my goodness, take care of yourself now. It is so much harder to go up and down and to have like the yo-yo dieting or the emotional eating binges and then going super strict and all that actually takes a huge wear and tear on your body um, and on your collagen. So if you want to keep your skin tight and young, I'm telling you, I thank God for my mother. <laughs> she definitely gave me good genes, but... Um, you know, when I was raised vegetarian, everything was, I mean, we didn't even eat chocolate cake. It was carob cake with carob chips, you know. Um, so I, I very much, you know, thank my healthy, healthy childhood and being very active, being outside and all those kind of things. Um, and of course, I did Herbalife for a long time and I still have some of the products, but I don't do exactly everything that I used to do. I do the best that I can. <laughs> so, you know, um, but anywho. So, you know, if I just would have known better and done better when I was younger, honestly, I think that I could be so much better health, shape, um, everything, whatever I have, it would be better. And, um, you know, we just think that in our twenties or whatever, that we're kind of invincible, you know, when we're teenagers that we can just eat Wendy's at two in the morning and, you know, you don't gain weight, you know, and all that. And I'm telling you, you can't do that forever. And not only that, it's just not good for your body. Um, those things like just have so much preservatives in there. They've done, um, studies and left, you know, uh, McDonald's hamburgers and French fries, you know, on, uh, a shelf <laughs> for like months and they never changed. They never rotted. They didn't deteriorate. I mean, that's disgusting. That's really, really bad. So anyhow, um, so your physical activity, whether it's playing sports, having a hobby that you, know, you like to play, I don't know, tennis or, you know, even golf, softball, um, you'd like to go to the beach, you like to swim, swimming's great, you know, anything, anything that's outside, um, especially if your man likes to do things, go do it with them. Um, you know, but what you eat, oh my gosh, you know, coconut oil, olive oil, everything extra virgin, you know, organic, of course, um, you know, the uh, proper type of vinegars and, you know, not this like classic ranch dressing and all that is so bad. You think that you're eating salads and you'll be healthier, but it's like 1500 calories salad because of the salad dressing. So you really have to be careful, like always get your dressing on the side and just use your fork and just put a little bit because honestly, the flavors of the salad should uh, be, you know, robust enough that you really don't need all that dressing. So um, that's one way you can cut back a whole bunch and um, juicing super good. Um, just eating lots of raw fruits and vegetables, you know, snacking is the worst crackers, pretzels. Um, any type of, you know, little Debbie should never enter your house, you know, cupcakes and, um, all those kind of things. Uh, just, you know, oh my gosh, baking, especially during the holidays, you know, being a mama, I love to bake and I've done it where I would just have like one nibble of one, you know, and just be really good. And I've had other times where I am not doing well <laughs> and I eat way too much. So, you know, we just really, really, really have to be careful um, and remember that it, there's consequences. Um, some of my Herbalife friend coaches, uh, they're really cute. Actually, they were um, a lesbian couple, but it's all good. I mean, hey, again, I love people. I'm just not going to say, you know, condone the sin. So, anywho, um, they were good friends of mine. It's all good. <laughs> anyway. Um, she would say a moment on the lips forever on the hips, a moment on the lips forever on the hips. Ooh, that's a good one. I'll tell you what. Um, so, you know, sugar destroys collagen, sugar feeds cancer. Um, sugar is horrible for your energy, it creates yeast. It's, it's just bad. And it sucks because of course it's so good, right? Um, 
And it's amazing because if you study the American diet, I mean, you know, they put like breads and sugars way at the top of the bottom, you know, as far as you can have lots of this and no, you can't. It's really should be inverted, the, the pyramid that they have. But anywho, I think they've made changes to it since. But, you know, um, so you're feeding your kids sugary cereals and pop tarts and, you know, which have flame retardant in it, by the way. I like banned them for life once I found that out. Um, and all these things that are actually not good, you know, so like protein shakes are some of the best things your, you know, egg and sausage or, uh, you know, I would say the plant-based ones are good, but I'm learning more and more that unless it's organic, the stuff that they're using is GMO and it's not good for you anyway. So I'm like, oh, for heaven's sake. So you're almost better off just eating, you know, uh, sustainable farming um, meat, uh, actual meat, <laughs> and um, fruits and vegetables. And stay away from too much dairy and sugar and flour. Those are like the big no-nos. You know, everything in moderation. When you go to other countries, they don't have the weight problem that Americans do. Uh, they walk a lot more. Their portions are smaller. And um, they use like uh, so much of the stuff that we have here is banned in those countries because it's bad for you. The preservatives and the dyes and all this and that, the GMOs. So that tells you something. It work, you know, they're kind of working against us. So we have to be smart. And when you're young, you don't think about that stuff. But I'm telling you, it's important. So if you want to age gracefully, <laughs> you know, you can't count on injections and all that stuff. It's it's not good for you. And I just. I thank God because there's been a few times that I'm like, Daddy, I want to go do this. I'm like, and he won't let me go do it. He's like, I like your face the way it is. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know. So, um, but when I see women, you can tell on certain Hollywood stars, um, when they get that really round face, it's because they've had so many injections that it, sp it doesn't go anywhere. It spreads in your face. So they end up looking like a hamster or a chipmunk, you know, so you're just, you're just better off all the way around. You can use coconut oil, you know, in your food, you can take a spoon of it. It's actually very good for you. You can um, hold it in your mouth and then spit it out. Um, you can look it up and it pulls like um, cavities, toxins type of things out of your mouth and your teeth and you can spit it out. It's pretty wild. That's like an Indian thing. Um, neem is also really good for your teeth you could look that up um and uh what the heck was it oh and and on your body in your hair i mean this stuff it's like your your skin is your largest organ actually so what you put on it's very important sunscreen is like cancer in a bottle i mean i've, I've known that for years so i very rarely ever put any type of sunscreen on my kids it just is what it is you know um or on myself, like you have to have a titanium based, like natural, as natural as possible um, type of sunscreen. Um, and your makeup, yeah, that too. Like Bare Minerals is one of the only ones that I know that is actually minerals. It's nature based, so you could sleep in it, you know, this, that is actually good for your skin. So um, those that have done the HCG program know that that's also one that you can still use because it's actually good for you. Yay. So there's a few things out there. Um, your nail polish, sweetheart, and the acetone and the acrylic and all that is toxic, toxic to your body. So you can imagine you're going every two to three weeks and you're just dipping your fingers in this stuff and you're just getting layers of all this polish. Uh, and it's not good for you. It's known to cause ovarian cancer and all kinds of problems. So, you know, as natural as you can be, there are some vegan natural nail polishes out there. I got a couple. I just have to take the time to actually do it myself. Um, and I've been bad. I've just been letting my nails go, you know, letting them grow and whatever. So they don't look as pretty and cute as they used to, but that's okay. Um, it's saving money. I'll tell you that. Daddy's happy about that. So, um, you know, it's, it is, if you're young and you're listening, you know, and if you have friends that are young and at least let them know, listen, sweetheart, you know, we this age now, but I'm telling you, <laughs> it's like a blink of an eye and you're going to be 47. <laughs> so you can only imagine a blink of an eye, I'll, you know, be 57, 67. It's, it's, you know, and there are some women that have aged gracefully that still look beautiful for their age. And that's really all you can do. Um, you know, we saw, 
well, like I said, we went to go to the Jurassic uh, World Dominion movie or whatever. And Nicole Kidman um, did like this intro for our movie theater. And it was just funny because um, she looks like she's 30 and she's up there. She's older than me. And uh, I was just like, it looks so like you're a witch. <laughs> you know, it looks so unreal. Um, so it's, it's almost like there should be a balance. You don't want to look so perfect that you look fake. You know what I mean? It's just kind of weird. But them Hollywood people are strange. There's this whole uh, adrenochrome. What do you call it? Adre adrenochrome and young blood and just all kinds of disgusting things we don't want to talk about. But um, yeah, maybe look at the Scream movie. Not Scream. Uh, Monsters, Inc. A whole different way. Ugh. Anyway. We won't talk about that right now, but, uh, yeah, so dark magic and that stuff is real and they get benefits from it, but who wants to sell their soul to the devil? That's horrible. You know, it's just not worth it. So anyway, um, but today, so that's my little pitch on just, you know, be healthy, whatever age you are, be healthy. We, we don't realize what's going on in our body. Disease is the dis-ease of our cells and it's not like one day we just wake up and all of a sudden this, you know, thing showed up. No, it's been festering and building for years. So, you know, we we'll want to eat clean. We want to eat lots of raw greens, kale and spinach, like broccoli. That stuff actually fights cancer. Okay. <laughs> of course, ironically, you know, the broccoli ain't going to taste like candy, but that's what you need to be eating. So I'm just saying it adds up, it builds up and we can reverse ill health, you know, and make ourselves better. But we, it would be easier if we just started out by doing things the right way and having the fitness and not sitting around and don't watch too much TV, you know, and just be productive. It's, it makes you feel better. You'll sleep better at night, you know, it helps with headaches. Um, your cycle will be better if you eat better and you exercise, all that kind of stuff. Anywho, um, you know what? The next one I'll do in a separate video. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Ciao.